Hi, welcome to the walk around video of our Triumph Herald convertible finished in maroon. And I'm just going to try and show you some of the things that want finishing off on the car and where the car is in today's state. So I think we'll start with the engine bay. And uh, you can see that it's had all new suspension. It's back adjustable shockers. Everything's been changed, all new bolts, all reconditioned. Calipers. Chassis all been painted, body color, new engine mounts. Lots of work done. All the brake pipes have been renewed. New coil. Hoses. The master cylinders have all been changed. We've put the wipe motor in. We know that's good. Once, once wiring up. Front lights will want wiring up at the moment. But you can see, you know, it's all been done to a really nice standard. All new bonnet seats. We managed to find a new door handle and uh, we're trying to source one from the other side at the moment. Well, we have to get one of the old ones re chromed. That's one job. Uh, on the interior, we bought the carpets. We put the rear carpets in, which have allowed us to fit the seats as well and get those sort of out of the way and in. Um, again, if you look at the runners, they've been cab plated. Bottom runners have been cab plated. There's a lot of attention to detail, really. I thought. New rubbers on the gearbox, new, new mounting rubbers. New slave. Now the, the clutch and the brakes want bleeding out. It's a bit dusty in here at the moment, but uh, you'll see that floors are all intact. This door wants final assembling, which we've done to this side um, pretty much. That trim's on. This car's got the wood trim on top of the doors, which heralds don't usually have, which matches the dashboard quite nicely. It hasn't got the door regulators or and the switches in there they want fitting in but again if you look in here you'll see once we've cleaned it that is it's just a lovely finish and one of the nice things about this car is the, the panel alignment really is good for Harold it's a nice straight body The rear panels, interior panels, uh, we won't buy them from Newton Commercial. They're uh, just not good enough, the old ones. So for £120, you get the whole lot ready to fit in. It wants a hood canvas. The hood frame's all been reconditioned. All new rubbers on here, which are quite expensive. Painted nicely. Just wants the hood canvas fitting. And the front uh, frame rail is very good. They usually rot out. We opted to fit the, the Tess bumper trims, which I think personally are nicer and easier to live with than the Herald rubber ones. And a lot of people seem to favour these. It wants uh, the front overriders re chromed and fitted on. We've got the front overriders, but again, they're just not good enough to fit on in their present state. The 
Again, everything's been nicely painted, bolted. There is a new washer buckle on it. It just wants the washer pipe put in. As I say, once this uh, door handle has been sorted out, this trim can go on then. It actually wants the rubbers for the outside as well. I've got one good one for that side. The one this side isn't good enough to refit, so it won't, it'll want one of those. All silly little bits, really, but uh, they do all add, add up. And it's more time than money, actually. You can see the number plate. Into the boot, it's a bit dirty at the moment, but uh, it's been done to a good standard. Put on some carpet put in there to make it a bit more usable and livable with. Tank's been painted nicely. It's the larger tank. It's got more range. I'm just trying to show you a bit of underneath. But you'll see it's got a nice Exhaust, all been painted nicely under the, under there. Again, it's a bit dusty and a bit uh, oversprayed, but uh, very good. You'll see the shockers on there, new rear shockers. By Spax, rear balance is all nice. We managed to find two rear overriders. Um, they were new old stock actually. A guy phoned me up and said he had these, so um, I bought them off him. And they weren't cheap, but they're, they're beautiful. But it's going to make a very nice car. I think we can probably start the car up. An idea of it's a few cables on connected at the moment, but uh, some full joke at the moment, but uh, gives you an idea. It's a bit low on fuel actually, so uh, at least you can hear it. So there it is, there's not loads to do. So as I say, collectively, it will keep someone busy for a while, but it's all the nice little bits that one doing now. It's the fine fettling, it's the adjusting, and just making the car a nicer car. But so far, it's been done to a very good standard, I have to say. Windscreen's brand new as well. That was uh, a new laminated windscreen because obviously a lot of these old ones weren't laminated. So this is a new laminated windscreen. It's got a new rubber in it. We've got the new trim. It's going to slot in there, but it hasn't been fitted in yet, as you can see.
So if the car piques your interest, please phone me on 07876 616 886. I'll be happy to talk to you about the car. It's a 1968 car that had been out of the country for a couple of years and then came in, so that's why it's registered on a, on a J plate. But it all checks out, all HPI clear, and uh, it's a proper factory convertible. Thanks for looking.